All right, I am looking at the weekly Squirtle for week number four. So if you're not familiar with Squirtle, it's basically like Wordle, but it's a grid of six words normally. Now the weekly Squirtle is gonna be a grid of 10 words. We're not gonna have these four holes in the grid. And when you make a guess, it applies to both the row and the column and you work your way through. And um, there's some stuff with the coloring, which is sort of indicated by the logo up here. And you can read about it in the rules. and. Uh, previous Squirtle videos I've done. All right, so I am going to the weekly weekly Squirtle. Here we go. So, all right, let's see. Let's let's try my wife's uh, three word start that we came up with the other day. Um, crash. Okay, got the A. Flout. Uh, which, by the way, the way this started is she was thinking flute would be a good word. Uh, because there are a lot of answers that start with F and end with E. And so we started with the word flute, but then we were trying to come up with the other words to go with it, and we ended up changing it to flout. Uh, which, of course, lost us the E at the end, but um, that's all right. We went with it anyways. Ooh, ooh, that was huge. Look at all the greens. Okay, so this word across the middle, I mean, it has to be aging, doesn't it? I think that has to be aging. Uh, I'm gonna hide some of these duplicate black letters. Um, some people hide all the black letters up here because you've got it down here too, but I tend to forget to look at the keyboard, so I'm not doing that. Um, let's see, we've got S and F in this first column, which is interesting. Uh, but not an E or an R or a C. And in this first row, we have C, E, and S. Uh, I mean, the most likely place for an E is at the end, of course. I feel like this word here, well, this could be an E. But otherwise, an E at the end makes a lot of sense too. I N E. It's not a G or a T, so I N E seems like it's likely there. Uh, let's see, we could have an S at the beginning here, because there's the yellow S and the red S, both pointing, you know, it could be somewhere else in that row or column, but S at the beginning is common also. R in this one is not first or second, so I'm gonna assume maybe it's after the G. That seems good, something like, uh, not angry, because there's no A at the beginning, but G-R-Y might be good. We, oh, we don't have a Y, we don't have a Y, so it can't be G-R, so maybe it's not, maybe it's, it's an R at the end here. That could work too, we could have an E or an A right there. Okay, so we need to guess, let's guess something with an E here, maybe. We're on this fourth row and fourth column. Put an E there. We've got E-N for both of them, then. Uh, doesn't start with an S. We could do something like fence. Um, it's not too bad because I think there might be an E up here and down here, so these E's would potentially help rule out those E's if it tells us there's not one in that row and column. And we know there's no F up here, but there is an F in this first column, and it has to be either fourth or fifth, so this will let us locate the F either way. So let's go with fence, I think that's good. Oh, and it was fence, and the other one is E-N-C-E. <laughs> okay, wow, that was, that was a really lucky guess. Okay, uh, so this is, what's this gonna be? It could be uh, Pence or Wentz or, I think it's Pence or Wentz. P or W, we haven't guessed either one of those yet. Um, P is probably more likely if it ends in an E. Let's see, this has a C and an S, uh, it could be scope, right? Scope, look, we got a red O right there. So this is gonna be scope. Uh, this is, oh, what's this gonna be? Shaft? No, there's no T at the end. I wonder if there's an F here as well. Could this be, uh, what would that be? Hmm. Staff, staff. There's a T in this row. Staff, and then breed, and edged, and what's this? Cager? No. Cager? 
Is that a word? Feels like it could be a word. Opine and taped. Okay, that's what I'm thinking right now. All of those words are what I'm thinking. Now, is there any clues that tell us those who could be wrong is the question. I don't think so. I think all of those are at least possible. Um, so let's do... Uh, well, we might as well do... Ooh, let me, let me think about this. So... Because we can potentially double up on some of these. So when we do Cager, we'll get Aging. Because we'll get the G. But there's probably a way to optimize this, but... I'm just wondering whether I should do Edged or Freed. If we do either way, the next... Okay, I don't have to do Staff if I do Freed and Scope and Taped, because it gets the S, T, and F. And I also don't have to do Edge, so let's do Freed. Okay, and then we'll do Scope. Yep, which will also get us Edged. And Pence as well. Okay, and... Or not edge, it'll, it got us pence though, but taped will get us taped and staff and edged. There we go, we got a bunch of bonus guesses. Oh, and that was it. Oh, it was aping! It wasn't even aging! Caper and aping! <laughs> well, that was lucky. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense anyways than caged. Uh, or Cager, Cager, I guess. Yeah, Caper makes more sense. So, it was even better that I guessed him in that order. Alright, well, I was just getting all kinds of lucky this week. So, there you go. Uh, we had Scope, Taped, Aping. So, if you don't know what aping means, if you ape something, it means you copy it. You're, you're like, imitating it. So, aping is copying. Fence, Freed, Staff, Caper. A caper is, like, a crime or something. Um, opine means to give your opinion. Uh, pence. Um, and edged. So, uh, you know, I think those are probably all relatively familiar words. So yeah, there you go. Uh, this worked out pretty well this week. Um, some lucky guesses in there. So let me know how you did with this weekly Squirtle. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Mocha. I like that guess. Oh, it's Mocha. And the A is green over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, ooh, you know what we could do? Khaki. That would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely. So C O something S E. Uh, oh, Barcelona. We're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain. There you go.